Hello, everybody! You probably got a lot of ruckle here. I realize I'm standing right in front of an AC vent and I'm not using it much lately. It's been cooling off, but I needed it for a moment. Uh, I've been outside moving some stuff around, but I wanted to take a moment to do a quick video. This one won't be really vinyl so much as shellax, won't be shellax so much as a record player. The record player will be dedicated to my shellax at this point. Uh, this is a gift from Mark, who uh, I got the 78s from. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys because I think it's really nifty. Uh, it's a General Electric, I believe, model 476G. It is a portable phonograph and AM radio. Uh, he estimates it was manufactured probably around 1962. I haven't really been able to find any confirmed details on that. I don't have a, uh, a uh, manual on it or anything like that. So the lid gets a little stuck, but I'm going to show you where it would ordinarily release and then I'm going to have to do a cutaway to actually open it because you have to do so very carefully with it. I don't want to damage any of it. Uh, switch camera angles. Ordinarily you would just kind of pinch and lift right here and on the other side right there. This side comes up easily. This side for some reason tends to stick a bit, not so much. So I'm going to have to carefully work that. Oh, actually it came open. So there we go. Anyway. There she is, a neat little device. It's a three speed. It has a volume control uh, that, that's on a regular kind of on off switch here. Uh, and let's see, oh yes, there's the tuning for the radio. Now on the back end of it, we have two little ports here. One is for batteries because this is a portable. And the other one right here is where our electric cord and it's actually I think the original cord looking at it because I mean look at this tip was hiding okay again the stylus on this machine is probably a little worn according to mark could use replacing but it still functions it's working so it's only about $13 to find a nice little ruby 3 mil stylus for this machine so to undo the stylus in the back end here, it's got a little edge, see? And that unhooks. And then you raise the back. It's on a little spring. And bring it around this way. And we're ready to play a record. So in honor of this happy occasion, I've picked a burlesque little number on the Apollo label to share with you. The motor does make a little noise, but the machine is incredibly loud. So it will overpower that. Uh, this is the Five Royals with Laundromat Blues. Don't rise folk, just take your time. Give my baby 20 minutes and she'll make you lose your mind. My baby's got the best machine, the best washing machine in the town. The very best equipment. There's no better machine to be found. Very nice little phonograph, and I'm very grateful for it. It's a lot of fun. It's really loud, surprisingly loud. So I mean, that was just blaring in here, and I mean, it wasn't up but about a quarter of the way. If I was to put a different speaker on it, the thing would probably knock your head off. So it's, it's a really, really nice phonograph. I'm very grateful for it, and thank you, Mark. Uh, I'd like to find a manual on it. If anybody has one or can send me a JPEG or, or I mean, a PDF of one, I'd appreciate it, because I'd like to learn more about the history of this particular phonograph. I used to buy little portable phonographs when I was a kid at the flea market and kind of uh, just as a hobby had them stacked up, and, and most of them would still work at that time. Ones that didn't, uh, would make an effort to make them work and eventually I'd get bored with them and move on and get a different one. Uh, but this is this is a keeper. Uh, at this point I have three phonographs and I'm gonna <laughs> leave it at that unless something breaks down. Uh, the one that I got before that is a uh, Crosley, it's gonna be dedicated to singles. This one will be for, because it's nice, it's portable. I can have it really right next to me. Uh, this one is perfect for 78s. So that way I don't have to go swapping styluses out. 
And uh, then, of course, I've got my good one for my LPs and things that uh, I listen to a bit more regularly. So that's the plan. Anyway, thank you again for checking this out with me. And much appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, Thank you to everyone that has subscribed. And I will see you again real soon.